Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be looking at Admiral Akbar from the Toys R Us exclusive Admiral Akbar and First Order Officer 2 pack. This guy is absolutely fantastic, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. Here it is, uh, right on the front. Nice big window where both the figures are displayed a Toys R Us exclusive sticker, and then down here in the corner, it's got a picture of Admiral Akbar and the First Order Officer. Then again, that image is repeated on the back, and there is a brief description. If you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just pause the video. So anyway, uh, pretty standard packaging, so let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself here. Now, Admiral Akbar stands at uh, almost exactly six inches tall, so he's going to be right in scale with all of your other Star Wars Black Series figures, and he does come with one accessory, and that is his blaster here. Really fantastic detail on this, um, and some pretty nice paintwork as well, so I really like that. And uh, as far as articulation on this figure goes, um, it's pretty... Um, pretty good overall. There are some things that are sort of interesting. I'm sure you noticed in my um, thumbnail that the mouth is articulated, uh, but it's sort of done in an interesting way. There's not a hinge or anything. This is a free floating piece and then there's, um, I can't even honestly tell, it feels like maybe just a hinge in the head because um, it doesn't really want to go side to side that much. It just really opens um, and then this is a free floating piece um, in there. So you can't really get him to um, like close his mouth all the way uh, without just sort of wedging it in there. So kind of an interesting way to articulate that and leads to some sort of funny um, posing options. Um, but they did an absolutely fantastic job sculpting and painting this head here. So I'm not sure how much of it will show up on camera, but there's a lot of like shading um, and, and things on there. And then these little speckles on the back of his head um, are done with a little bit of like a high gloss clear coat, um, which makes them um, shine while the rest of the head is flat. My lighting is just really harsh and that's why um, it looks like everything's shiny on there. But when you hold it in person, really fantastic looking. Moving on from the head, he's got ball hinge shoulders that do swivel 360 hinged elbows with a swivel, and then they've got some more of that fantastic sculpt and paintwork down here on the arms. And he's got a hinged wrist with an excellent range of motion and swivel uh, as well. And then on this side, it's obviously made to grip um, a gun um, or perhaps another accessory um, in the future. He's got what feels like a double or single ball peg here in the torso. Not the greatest range of motion, uh, but I don't think that you really need it for this character. He does have T-jointed hips with a nice range um, forward and out to the side and then a little bit back. A thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and hinged ankles with an ankle rocker. So overall, I think that this is a fantastic figure. Um, I'm really excited because I'm imagining they're going to reuse some of these parts again on uh, you know an original trilogy Admiral Akbar and perhaps also on some just generic uh, rebel figures or, or other characters which makes me really excited because the sculpt work on this is absolutely fantastic so um, overall uh, this guy is a you know my opinion a must have just because I think he looks fantastic and the first order officer is okay um, I have a major complaint with that figure um, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch that video. Uh, but overall, I would say that picking up this um, pack um, is definitely worth it just for this guy. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I guess I'll see you later.